for organizations to be then excellent, there has to be a slightly different model than the Maslow model. Which one, sir? For organization to be excellent, we will require a slightly different approach. Okay. Okay. And for that, very interestingly, there was a person called Baldrige. Oh, Baldrige. Okay. He was a secretary mm -hmm. of U.S. Department of Commerce and Industries. Okay. Way back in uh, around 1940-50 that time. Yeah. Okay. And what was interestingly when he was a secretary, he found that the growth rate is sort of plateaued and some few years in fact is coming down, not going up. Okay. So, the whole US and he also was worried, what is to be done? How can we really bring back this? Excellence was not appearing there. Absolutely. And so, what he thought is that let me form a small group of experts okay. and study this and see how can I bring my economy back onto the road. These experts have sat down and looked at various things and came up with the what they call it as today Balridge Excellence Framework. Okay, but this was for industry first. Initially. First for industry mm -hmm. and the way in which it was really developed, it could be applied across to any organization mm -hmm. and not only that it could be applied to any organization, but it has a very interesting feature that Th when you start putting it down, your activities, mm -hmm. universities or mm. um, institutes or even college level activities into this model, you will immediately find out where are my weakness, where do I stand, what is it that I should be really improving it so that I can quickly move towards the excellence. Okay. That is the beauty of that framework excellence. and that is how the industries then quickly started looking at where they are going wrong and what is it that they need to do it. So, this Baldridge model has certain parameters, everything to be looked at and one of the foremost one that he talks about as you have been mentioning and asking me a question is of course about the leadership. Yes, leadership is one of the weightageable feature of the Baldridge excellence framework. framework. Oh. And he also talks about the strategy, which is where yeah. you were talking about, sir, how do we really change this vision, bring it down to the short term, long term, long -term. goals, how do we define and all. That is where this strategy comes yeah. in. He says that you have to look at the customer satisfaction and in case of higher education system, since our customers are mostly the young students and their parents, how do we really work with them measurements, analysis, knowledge management, all these just as is applicable to the industry are equally applicable to the higher education institutions. Mm -hmm. And of course, then the people those who are working in these institutions like the professors, means faculty members and the staff, there, how can I recognize those who are working and doing better than the others? Yeah, yeah and thus value them and see that they continue to do better and better and others start joining them so that the whole then force becomes. Environment creates yes, momentum. momentum. Okay? Yeah. So, that is what is really there and as a consequence then the results which you get, you reanalyze and see what is it that now you need to do, that is yeah. which type of infrastructure probably you have to improve. Let us say that you find that your students and the faculty are not that healthy, oh, yeah. physical fitness is important, then so you will have to improve your infrastructure for the mm -hmm. sports. Yes, as per the identification of the weakness, this model uh, refine the processes, operations and work in. Absolutely. But sir, how to adapt this industry development model in a higher education? It is very simple. In fact, I remember and you were part of that team when in 2004-05 along with Professor Takaole, we tried to convert yeah, yeah. this model for the excellence in higher education and apply it in fact in this university as well as we have seen some of the colleges and see where exactly the things are going wrong and help them 
to improve their uh, working and uh, to reach towards the excellence in that fashion. In fact, it is one of the most elegant and the simple model that I think which exists because of which we could truly work and move towards excellence and make the everyone, those who are in the system and those who are associated in the system to move towards excellence, excellence. in that fashion. So, what are the features of it? The features are very simple that you have to have the strategy that should be self evolving mm -hmm. and should define the replacement of outdated technologies and infrastructures. You have to have large number of then collaborations, okay. international, national, so that you can learn from them what is wrong, what is right and to strengthen then the multicultural aspects in yes. your university, multinational mm -hmm. aspect right. because today we are at the global level. Yes, true sir. We are talking about global excellence. And, and internalization as a paramount. Absolutely. We have to have the high quality human resources from everywhere. Okay. And that is where this whole thing what today is our government talking about and what National Knowledge Commission has stated about the online courses, open mm -hmm. coursewares and those things starts coming in. We need to again look at how can I adopt and put in therefore in practice this flexible education, choice based credit system what we talk, mm -hmm. but most often do not provide the choice that has to be truly in, inculcated. We have now sir the NAC model and in that certain level A grade, B grade or some grade is achieved and people say that we are at a, at a level, but this, this Baldry's model itself the world is excellence, but the NAC model is a static one time they we go there or the team goes there and assess the quality of the NAC, NAC model which is, is existing here, but this excellence is different, Yes. different model. How this different actually? See, there could be several models, but yeah. the NAC when it was started many of us have said that first at least in this country higher education institutions do not have physical infrastructure required to provide the higher education, higher education. building, laboratories, Libraries. library, number yeah. of teachers and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, the NAC model looks at that. Yeah, yeah. NAC model does not look at all the processes that you follow in higher education system which will take you towards the excellence. But the Baldrige and framework exactly is taking Exactly opposite of. is the Baldrige. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baldrige model looks at the processes and tells you which process hmm. you should be strengthening or improving so that you move towards the excellence. That means, any higher education institute has to move towards the excellence according to the Baldrige uh, framework they have to identify for the processes right from admission to examination or certification yes and then analyze that processes absolutely actually. absolutely you said very rightly and that is exactly what i was talking all the time that one is a static facilities infrastructure yeah. and all that which yeah. every higher education system has to have but just with those good infrastructure you cannot reach mm -hmm. to excellence. You have to have proper processes to be built into the system, you have to have a proper strategy and you have to have these leaders who have the vision and who can therefore get the work done within a specified time frame yeah. and re move to the next level. Yes, okay. that means the criteria of processes are defined and once the criteria is met, again the next stage the new criteria are uh, visualized Absolutely. and according to that the processes are um, changed. 
according to that the processor is changed, according to that the importance to certain processes gets changed, the oh, weightage oh. gets changed and that is how you move towards that. Toward the excellence. Yes. Mm. For example, let us say that you find that the graduate level teaching mm. is acceptable to its stakeholders namely the industry. Yeah. But that is not enough to reach to the excellence because mm -hmm. the research output mm -hmm. of that higher education system, if it is not high enough, then it will not bring in the new knowledge into the system, it will not have patents, it will not have innovations, it will not be able to therefore act as the leader there. Yeah. So, those then you will concentrate more on strengthening simultaneously along with your teaching methodologies and pedagogy improving as the time is changing. Yeah. As a consequence of that then you will have better research, better products, new products to be developed and you will be able to therefore perform. Then yeah. you see that oh, but because of this my students are only going and working with someone they are not really developing and bringing in their new companies forming new industries coming in and the innovations are not getting that much of uh, acceptance, then you will start even pushing that along with the research. And that is how your resources you start managing effectively because yeah. you know we do not have in any higher education institute unlimited resources. Yeah, they are limited and we have to use it uh, very carefully, it ought to be waste, also we have to um, output should be very high. Yes, and we have to still keep in mind our culture yeah, yeah. and also our socio-economic aspects, uh -huh. because we cannot provide higher education only to those who will uh, be like. able to afford, yeah. even those who cannot afford we have to have a system to subsidize that substantially so that they get that quality higher education. Do you feel that then this Baldry's um, excellence framework uh, if any leader really understood it, it will help to improve the Indian higher education in, uh, institutions towards the excellence? I, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind. Oh great. That sir. if the spirit, in spirit mm -hmm. and in action, Baldrige model is practiced yeah. in the inst any higher education institution. Mm -hmm. That higher education institute will reach to the excellence in shortest possible time. Okay. Uh, friends, just we have a very interesting interaction with Professor Kolaskar sir and he had highlighted all the uh, aspect of leader, leadership, excellence and also he introduced in higher education system of India the Baldry's excellence framework. We have to go into detail it and um, really how that Baldry's uh, excellence framework uh, to adapt in Indian education system what are the criteria yet, how the processes are analyzed, all, all these things. Uh, so, this is uh, really a one of the great opportunity through this module that uh, Professor Ashok Kolaskar sir uh, had highlighted all these things. Sir, thank you for coming to our studio and um, guiding uh, regarding and uh, regarding the taking this uh, institutions toward the excellence by your experience, by your research, uh, by your uh, um, uh, vision, uh, it will help to our uh, teachers uh, if they want to be a, a leader to take the institute at a excellence level, uh, really uh, your interaction will help them. Thank you sir for this. Thank you Professor Sonone for inviting me here and having these wonderful discussions. I have no doubt in my mind that this program and the modules, the course that you have started will have excellent impact on our not just the teachers, but anyone who will take it and read this or learn this seriously 
and we will be at least moving little bit in the right direction towards establishing right type of leaders, towards establishing right type of governance and through that the excellence at the higher education institute level and provide the for the human resources at the global level because India is a country which we call it as a young country. Hope sir this will be realized in next stage. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you.